How you doing today, guys? Today we're going to be doing some maintenance on a 25-inch steel chainsaw bar. But before I talk about maintaining the bar, there's a couple things I want to talk about that I do just to, uh, to keep the bar in top shape. And the first thing I do is every time I take my bar off the saw, uh, I will take a scraper and I'll go ahead and clean out all the gook and sawdust that's in the bar rails, okay? Both on the top and on the bottom of the bar. And I will usually do this moving away from the roller nose so I don't jam a bunch of junk in there. And the reason you do that is because you know, sawdust gathers in these bar rails and eventually it'll, it'll prevent the oil from moving around. So the oil's not gonna move around. Eventually it's gonna get hot um, and it'll actually seize your chain. When I was in high school, uh, we had a, a Craftsman chainsaw and I, I didn't know to, to, to clean the rails and eventually the saw got so hot that the, the, the chain wouldn't, it wouldn't move around the bar. Uh, so ever since I learned that lesson, uh, every time the bar comes off, I clean the rails. If you're having trouble with your chain going around the bar, take it off and clean the rails. The other thing that I'll do every time I take the bar off the saw is uh, I'll go ahead and flip it. Um, if you watch my video, sometimes you'll see videos where the steel name is, uh, is upside down. And the reason for that is because most of your wear on your bar is going to be on the bottom half here. And if it's always like this, you're going to wear this side out much quicker. So by flipping it, you're actually evening out the wear uh, on your chainsaw bar. When you're putting your chainsaw bar in the vise, you want to be careful not to, not to put the vise on the top or bottom edges of your bar because you're going to close the rails on it. You want to grab it more in the middle. And I've got these soft jaws in the vise, which, uh, which are just going to help to, to not scratch up the bar too much. So the first thing I want to show you here, and I'm going to zoom in a little bit more, is as the, as the chain runs around the bar, it starts to wear the bar out. So you're going to have wear on the top of the rail and you're going to get some mushrooming on the side. Just take a listen. You hear my fingernail? I'm catching a little bit of mushrooming on the bar. So what we want to do is go ahead and file that. The maintenance we're going to do on our bar is to just make sure the tops are square, the top of the bar is square, and that there's not much mushrooming on the sides. There's a couple different ways you can clean up the mushrooming on your chainsaw bar. The first one is you can just take a file, hold it right against the bar, and just file that off. And it, it doesn't take much if you, if you keep up with it. That's pretty much got it. The other thing you can do is get a guide bar rail dresser. And this one is made by Oregon, and I'll put a link to it in the description of this video. But all this is, is a file that's mounted in this little holder, so you can basically just put it on top of the bar and run it along the top of the bar to clean off that edge. Okay, and that's completely gone now. Now the other cool thing you can do with this tool is because it's got the 90 degree angle, you can put it on top of your bar as well and square it off. Okay, and again, you know, if you're a homeowner, you're probably not gonna have much wear on the top of the bar. But just take a look, and uh, if you need to, you know, go ahead and run this tool along the top. Now, you're going to want to be wearing a, a, a nice pair of leather gloves when you do this, because the shards on the bar can be very sharp, and I would systematically do it. First you'll do one side, then you'll do the other side, and then you'll do your tops. And once you're done filing the whole bar, uh, just take your file and just hold it at like a 45 degree angle and run it along and that's gonna that's gonna deburr it and just put a slight chamfer on the edge of the bar okay so that's nice and smooth so take a listen oh, there's still a little bit there but you're not the click you're hearing now 
is the sound of my fingernail coming off the bar. It's not the sound of my fingernail clicking on the mushrooming. Here's the end result, folks, and if I take my nail and run it across the edge of the bar, I'm not catching anything. There's no, there's no burr coming across. The top of my bar, both rails are parallel and the same level, and there's no like trench, you know, there's no trench dug in the bar from the, the teeth running across it. And I'll be the first to admit, guys, I do not know everything there is to know about maintaining a guide bar. But I just want you guys to be aware that there is guide bar maintenance that can be done. And if you want to talk to your dealer, or maybe you have a friend who knows more about saws, um, you know, ask him some more about it. Thanks for watching, guys, and we'll see you soon. Have a great day.